The editors with NRHA and Harvard Retailing Magazine traveled the country looking for the best ways that independents can stay competitive in today's market. Recently, we got the chance to stop in with Mike Drew of Lee's Trustworthy Hardware in Indiana to see how he's staying on top of the game of retail. I started my business in 1980. I bought my first store, which was in Cleves, Ohio, which is still our home store. And uh, we opened the uh, Milan store here uh, approximately, I think, about 1997. And then we opened a store over in Bright, Indiana in 2000. And we have currently we have three locations, and uh, we uh, purchase all of our material. Our wholesaler is House Hessen Hardware out of Knoxville, Tennessee. You know our customers are um, are basically the, the do-it-yourself customer or small contractors and uh, people that maybe in the past when things are better they 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 call people in to do those things now with things a little bit tighter or uh, they're making sure that they come into us and, and we're helping them get through that project so so bottom line we, we do see it a little bit but our business remains pretty strong because of that. Pricing has emerged as the number one competitive issue facing independent retailers. Mike Drew has managed to tap into some strategies that help him find the right balance that keeps him viewed as competitive without doing any damage to his margins. We shop the competition on a uh, monthly basis. Uh, we go out with uh, our managers and we take an evening once a month and go out and uh, we, we shop items at the managers of my store or items that I designate and then we, we get together and have uh, dinner that evening and talk about what we've done that evening and then uh, we take the next three to four weeks before we do another price shop and we analyze what we've done, uh, make the price points in our store that we need to make and change our retails and customize them to where we need to be. We do not have a formal uh, pricing as far as um, pricing issues because I don't want to get into everyone carrying something in for every item and saying because I feel that no matter where your price is at, someone can beat you every day. I mean, if you want to shop long enough. But I do give my managers the position to override prices if they so deem it necessary, if it's for a, you know, a quantity of something or whatever. And we have parameters, you know, in-house for which they're able to do that. To combat the, those uh, that were high priced, you know, we, we definitely do our share fair share, I feel, to do circular advertising and we're trying to get our customers to perceive that we are priced right in the market and, and we've done that with the priced right everyday signage and, and asking our customers to tell us and talking to our customers and making them aware that we feel that we're priced right and we need to know what they feel. But as far as getting that message across uh, by everyone in the, the marketplace, I really don't feel that it's being done.